James, who died in martyrdom in 62 or 69 AD, was an important figure of the Apostolic Age. Other epithets used to refer to James include James the Just, or a variation of James, brother of the Lord. Roman Catholic tradition generally holds that this James is to be identified with James, son of Alpheus, and James the Less. It is agreed by most that he should not be confused with James, son of Zebedee. Interpretations of the phrase, brother of the Lord, vary. Some scholars and Christians believe that James was a full-blood brother of Jesus. Other Christians such as Catholics, Eastern Christians, and some Protestants who hold the belief of the perpetual virginity of Mary, teach that James along with others named as brothers of Jesus were not the biological children of Mary, but were either Jesus or adoptive brothers, stepbrothers, or according to one popular theory, cousins of Jesus. Identification. As a bishop of Jerusalem in a 4th century letter pseudographically ascribed to the 1st century Clement of Rome, James was called the Bishop of Bishops, who rules Jerusalem, the Holy Assembly of Hebrews, and all assemblies everywhere. Hagasippus, in his fifth book of his commentaries, mentions that James was made a bishop of Jerusalem but he does not mention by whom. After the apostles, James the brother of the Lord surnamed the just was made head of the church at Jerusalem, but, like the rest of the early Christians, information about his life is scarce and ambiguous. Clement of Alexandria wrote in the sixth book of his Hypertypos as that James the Just was chosen as a bishop of Jerusalem by Peter, James and John. For they say that Peter and James and John after the ascension of our Saviour, as if also preferred by our Lord, strove not after honour, but chose James the Just Bishop of Jerusalem, but the same writer, in the seventh book of the same work, relates also the following things concerning him. The Lord after his resurrection imparted knowledge to James the Just and to John and Peter, and they imparted it to the rest of the apostles, and the rest of the apostles to the seventy, of whom Barnabas was one. According to Eusebius James was named a bishop of Jerusalem by the apostles. James, the brother of the Lord, to whom the episcopal seat at Jerusalem had been entrusted by the apostles. Jerome wrote the same, James, after our Lord's passion, ordained by the apostles Bishop of Jerusalem, and that James ruled the Church of Jerusalem thirty years. The Oxford Dictionary of the Christian Church claims that James the Just was from an early date with Peter a leader of the Church at Jerusalem in, from the time when Peter left Jerusalem after Herod's attempt to kill him. James appears as the principal authority who presided at Council of Jerusalem. Apart from a handful of references in the Synoptic Gospels, the main sources for the life of James the Just are the Acts of the Apostles, the Pauline Epistles, Eusebius and Jerome, who also quote the early Christian chronicler Hagasippus and Epiphanius. James is a principal author of the Apostolic Decree of Acts chapter 15, and the Epistle of James in the New Testament is traditionally attributed to him. In the extant lists of pseudo hippolytus of Rome, Dorotheus of Tyre, the Chronicon Pascala, and Demetri of Rostov. He is the first of the seventy apostles though some sources, such as the Catholic Encyclopedia, state that these lists are unfortunately worthless. Possible identity with James, son of Alpheus Jerome believed that the brothers of the Lord were Jesus' cousins, thus amplifying the doctrine of perpetual virginity. Jerome concluded that James, the brother of the Lord, is therefore James, son of Alpheus, one of the twelve apostles of Jesus, and the son of Mary Cleophase. In two small but potentially important works of Hippolytus, on the Twelve Apostles of Christ and on the Seventy Apostles of Christ, he relates the following, And James the son of Alphaeus, when preaching in Jerusalem was stoned to death by the Jews, and was buried there beside the temple. James, the brother of Jesus, was also stoned to death by the Jews. With this testimony of Hippolytus there is good reason to assume that James the son of Alphaeus is the same person as James the brother of Jesus. 
These two works of Hippolytus are often neglected because the manuscripts were lost during most of the Church Age and then found in Greece in the 19th century. As most scholars consider them spurious, they are often ascribed to Pseudo-Hippolytus. The two are included in an appendix to the works of Hippolytus in the voluminous collection of early Church Fathers. According to the surviving fragments of the work Exposition of the Sayings of the Lord of the Apostolic Father Papias of Hierapolis, who lived c. 70-163, Ad Cleophas and Alpheus are the same person, and Mary the wife of Cleophas or Alpheus would be the mother of James the brother of Jesus, and of Simon and Judas, and of one Joseph, Mary the mother of the Lord, Mary the wife of Cleophas or Alpheus who was the mother of James the bishop and apostle, and of Simon and Thaddeus, and of one Joseph, Mary Salome, wife of Zebedee, mother of John the Evangelist and James, Mary Magdalene. These four are found in the Gospel. Thus James, the brother of the Lord, would be the son of Alpheus, who was the husband of Mary the wife of Cleophas or Mary the wife of Alpheus. For the Anglican theologian J.B. Lightfoot this fragment in question would be spurious. Possible identity with James the less Jerome also concluded that James, the brother of the Lord, is the same as James the less. To explain this, Jerome first tells that James the less must be identified with James, the son of Alpheus, and reports in his work The Perpetual Virginity of Blessed Mary the following. Do you intend the comparatively unknown James the Less, who is called in Scripture the son of Mary, not however of Mary the mother of our Lord, to be an apostle, or not? If he is an apostle, he must be the son of Alpheus and a believer in Jesus. The only conclusion is that the Mary, who is described as the mother of James the Less, was the wife of Alpheus and sister of Mary the Lord's mother the one who is called by John the Evangelist, Mary of Clopar, after saying that James the Less is the same as James, the son of Alpheus. Jerome describes in his work De Virus Illustribus that James, the brother of the Lord, is the same as James, the son of Alpheus. James, who is called the brother of the Lord, surnamed the just, the son of Joseph by another wife, as some think, but, as appears to me, the son of Mary, sister of the mother, a Lord Mary of Cleophase, of whom John makes mention in his book. Thus, Jerome concludes that James, the son of Alpheus, James the Less, and James, brother of the Lord, are one and the same person. Epithet, Eusebius records that Clement of Alexandria related, this James, whom the people of old called the just because of his outstanding virtue, was the first, as the record tells us to be elected to the episcopal throne of the Jerusalem church, other epithets are, James the brother of the Lord, surnamed the just, and, James the righteous, and, James of Jerusalem. He is sometimes referred to in Eastern Christianity as, James Adelphotheos. The oldest surviving Christian liturgy, the Liturgy of St. James, uses this epithet, relationship to Jesus. Jesus are brothers, James as well as Jude, Simon and Hoses, are named in Matthew chapter 13 verse 55 and Mark chapter 6 verse 3 and mentioned elsewhere. James' name always appears first in lists, which suggests he was the eldest among them. In the passage in Josephus of Jewish Antiquities, the Jewish historian describes James as the brother of Jesus who is called Christ. Interpretation of the phrase brother of the Lord and similar phrases is divided between those who believe that Mary had some children and those who hold the perpetual virginity of Mary. The only Catholic doctrine which has been defined regarding the brothers of the Lord is that they are not biological children of Mary. Thus Catholics do not consider them as blood, full brothers of Jesus. Younger blood brother, son of Mary and Joseph the New Testament says that Jesus was miraculously conceived and born of a virgin, and Jesus is referred to as the firstborn son of Mary. So James and the other so-called brethren of Jesus considered by some people as younger blood brothers. Helvidius seems to be the first man to say that Mary had children other than Jesus. Jerome asserts in his tract The Perpetual Virginity of Blessed Mary, as an answer to Helvidius. 
that the term firstborn was used to refer to any offspring that opened the womb, rather than definitely implying other children. Luke's reporting of the visit of Mary, Joseph, and Jesus to the Temple of Jerusalem when Jesus was 12 years old makes no reference to any of Jesus' or blood brothers. Robert Eisenman, however, is of the belief that Luke, as a close follower of Pauline Gentile Christianity, sought to minimize the importance of Jesus a family by whatever means possible, editing James and Jesus are brothers out of the gospel record. Carl Keating argues that Mary and Joseph rushed without hesitation straight back to Jerusalem when they realized Jesus was lost, which they would surely have thought twice about doing if there were other children to look after. Younger half-brother, son of Mary and a second husband A variant on this is presented by James Tabor, who argues that after the early and childless death of Joseph, Mary married Clopar, whom he accepts as a younger brother of Joseph. According to the Leverett Law, according to this view, Clopar fathered James and the later siblings, but not Jesus. John Dominic Crossan suggested that James was probably Jesus' or older brother, an older stepbrother, son of Joseph by an earlier marriage. The Protevangelium of James says that Mary was betrothed to an older relative in order to preserve her virginity, and that Joseph already had children. In this case, James was one of Joseph's children from his previous marriage and, therefore, Jesus' stepbrother. The Bishop of Salamis, Epiphanius, wrote to in his work The Panarion that James was Joseph's son by Joseph's first wife, not by Mary. He adds that Joseph became the father of James and his three brothers and two sisters or with James being the elder sibling. James and his siblings were not children of Mary but were children from a previous marriage. After Joseph's first wife died, many years later when he was 80, he took Mary. According to Epiphanius the scriptures called them brothers of the Lord to confound their opponents. One argument supporting this view is that it would have been against Jewish custom for Jesus to give his mother to the care of John if Mary had other living sons. This is because the eldest son would take responsibility for his mother after the death of her husband. Any other sons of Mary should have taken on this responsibility if they existed, therefore arguing against a direct natural brother relationship. Also, Aramaic and Hebrew tended to use circumlocutions to point out blood relationships. It is asserted that just calling some people brothers of Jesus would not have necessarily implied the same mother. Rather, something like sons of the mother of Jesus would have been used to indicate a common mother. Scholars and theologians who assert this point out that Jesus was called the son of Mary rather than a son of Mary in his hometown. Cousin, son of a sister of Mary James, along with the others named brethren of Jesus, are said by others to have been Jesus' cousins. This is justified by the fact that cousins were also called brothers and sisters in Jesus' or native language, Aramaic, which, like Biblical Hebrew, does not contain a word for cousin. Furthermore, the Greek words Adelphos and Adelpha were not restricted to their literal meaning of a full brother or sister in the Bible, nor were their plurals. Eusebius of Caesarea reports the tradition that James the Just was the son of Joseph's brother Clopar and therefore was of the brethren of Jesus, described in the New Testament. This is echoed by Jerome in De Virus Illus Tribus. James is said to be the son of another Mary, wife of Clopar and the sister of Mary, the mother of Jesus, in the following manner. James, who is called the brother of the Lord, surnamed the just, the son of Joseph by another wife, as some think, but, as appears to me, the son of Mary, sister of the mother of our Lord of whom John makes mention in his book. Jerome refers to the scene of the crucifixion in John chapter 19 verse 25, where three women named Mary, Mary, the mother of Jesus, Mary of Clopar, and Mary Magdalene, are said to be witnesses. 
John also mentions that sister of the mother of Jesus, often identified with Mary of Clopar due to grammar. Mary of Clopar is often interpreted as Mary, wife of Clopar. Mary of Nazareth and Mary of Clopar also need not be literally sisters, in light of the usage of the said words in Greek, Hebrew and Aramaic. Mary of Clopar is suggested to be the same as Mary, the mother of James the Younger and Hosea's. Mary the mother of James and Joseph and the other Mary in Jesus a crucifixion and post-resurrection accounts in the Synoptic Gospels. Proponents of this identification argue that the writers of the Synoptics would have called this Mary simply the mother of Jesus if she was indeed meant to be the mother of Jesus, given the importance of her son's crucifixion and resurrection. They also note that the mother of James and Jose's is called Maria, whereas the mother of Jesus is Mariam or Maria's in Greek. These proponents find it unlikely that Mary would be referred to by her natural children other than Jesus at such a significant time. Jerome's opinion suggests an identification of James the Just with the Apostle James. Son of Alpheus, Clopar and Alpheus have thought to be different Greek renderings of the same Aramaic name Halfe. Despite this, some biblical scholars tend to distinguish them. This is also not Roman Catholic dogma, though a traditional teaching. Since this Clopar is, according to Eusebius, Joseph of Nazareth's brother and this Mary is said to be Mary of Nazareth's sister. James could be related to Jesus by blood and law. Other relationships also, Jesus and James could be related in some other way, not strictly, cousins. Following the non-literal application of the term Adelphos and the Aramaic term for brother, according to the apocryphal first apocalypse of James, James is not the earthly brother of Jesus but a spiritual brother who according to the Gnostics received secret knowledge from Jesus prior to the Passion.